Hey guys, how's it going? Tabs McCaffrey here from the Urban Goddess Shop. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I am a Canadian reseller and I sell on Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, and Depop. Recently, Facebook Marketplace, I gotta add it in there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I went thrifting today and I haven't done a thrift haul video in a very long time. I love thrifting. I usually go sourcing like two to three times a week. And today we're gonna do a sit down thrift haul because I found some really cool stuff and stay till the end because I am going to go over what I'm looking for this fall and what kind of items that we're going to be sourcing for our closet. Okay, let's kick this off. I don't even know where to start. There's no rhyme and reason. I'm just going through what I found. Okay, so the first thing I found were these Lululemon shorts. I don't even know the style of them but uh, when I got home from the thrift store Lena was home for lunch on her lunch break at work she was like did you find anything I'm like yeah I found these Lulu shirts she's like shut up mom she's like I've been trying to order these for months and they always sell out so sad to say they're not going in the store but happy that I got them for a deal because you don't always find like trendy I don't always find trendy Lulu shorts at my stores but yeah that was a good find uh, I also grabbed this. I know, like, you guys, this is very Canadian. If there's, like, anything that's Canadian that I thrifted, this is probably one of the most Canadian things. Uh, what is it? It is a Traditions. I think this was sold at Sears. And it's a fleecy vest with, like, polar bears playing on the bottom. I have a lot of luck, sorry, the color tone is gonna kinda go in and out here. I have a lot of luck selling fleecy wear in fall and winter, even a little bit into spring. And I find the cuter or quirkier embroidered stuff definitely does well. This is in next to new condition, so I didn't even bat an eye, I just tossed it in the cart. I don't typically check comps on those kind of things, I just grab them and list them. And they're just things that I'm passionate about, things that I, I like to thrift and source. Next up is this really cool, can you guys see this? It's like a red fringe leather suede vest and it even has the fringe on the back. I love this. It's so boho. It's so fall. The tones, the colors. I gotta get this listed right away because I actually, you know what Jeff, my Jeff, my husband, he said it would make a really good Halloween costume. Who is Woody's girlfriend in Toy Story? Uh, no. Is his name Woody? No, Andy. No, that's the kid's name. Who? Uh, I don't even know. Anyways, the girl, the redhead little doll, cowgirl doll, she would totally wear this. This would be a good Halloween costume. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna list it. I did not check comps on it. Hoping, I don't even know. I don't know, what do you guys think? What would you list this at? And let's not be cheap. I would like to make some money on that one. I'm gonna grab a pair of shoes next. These are one state. I don't think they're a really expensive shoe. I'm not even sure if they're real leather. Oh yeah, they are, they're leather. But anyways, they're fully studded. They just caught my eye. I love the heel. They actually have a pretty nice sole. It's not like that, you know, that fake kind of plastic. I didn't check comps on them. I grabbed these strictly on style. I thought they were cool and I figured I could make some money on them and they're in next to new condition like barely anywhere in them. What size are they even? Nine and a half. Ooh, they're my size. Hmm. Might have to wear them out one night before they sell. Oh, let's pull this back. Okay. Next item. Uh, I've never sold perfume, but I've heard a lot of people talking about selling vintage perfumes. So I do check the aisle like on the wall all of ours hang up and I saw this. So it's Jean Pateau Paris and it's joy. I'm gonna put it up close for you guys. Um, and it says powder de toilette. So I thought it was perfume and I was like, oh, this has got to be brand new. It's not perfume. It's like a talc powder, but it's brand new. Like it's never, never, I kind of opened it up to peak. It's never been used. I did check some comps on eBay and there's three of them available. They're listed, I think between 
like 65 and 100 but a couple of them I think two of them were used maybe even all three I don't even know but anyways I'm hoping to maybe get like $75 for this we'll see I might be shooting high I don't know we'll see I paid like six bucks for it so I'm pretty sure I'll make some money off it I just I don't know what the market is for like talc powder and who use who uses like perfume talc Maybe I'm just not bougie enough, <laughs> bougie enough for that. Get out of the shower, put my talc on. Uh, okay, next item, pretty pumped about this one. It's a Roots uh, pullover, and I don't know how to describe it. It's not a corduroy, but it's almost like a reverse Terry. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see this. Look at the sleeves. Can you guys see that? They're all... Darn! Okay, I see. So this one's wrecked as well, but it looks like someone folded them. I'm actually going to list this as is, and I'm going to take the photos with the folded sleeve. It is a men's, I'm gonna try and sell it into the women's as an oversized. Definitely a trend that I'm seeing a lot of uh, people wear with some, you know, tapered leg jeans or wide leg jeans, kind of that vintage, Reminds me of like that 90s uh, like higher state brand kind of look. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, still a great find. I Lena approved it and she's 18, so she knows what's going on in the young people world. What else? Next are these cowboy boots. Uh, I don't know if there is a brand on them. I couldn't make anything out in there. They are made in Canada. That's pretty much all it says. They're an eight and a half, but they're just a really cute uh, cowgirl boot or cowboy boot in good condition. I usually have really good luck with cowboy boots selling, I don't know, usually over $60, like 60 to 120. I'm gonna get these listed and uh, they should go in fall. Definitely a fall item with a pair of jeans. I don't know, do cowboy boy, do cowboy boy, <laughs> do cowboy boots ever go out of style? I'm not really sure on that one. All right, next item is a pair of Lululemon. These are a size six. I'm not sure on the material. I think it's like that newer Luan. These are a newer style because the size dot kind of has the numbers and letters around it. I'll make sure to look them up but they're in next to new condition. They're a little bit of a shorter crop. I find as long as they're newer, that shorter crop, they still sell. And I've been cross-listing a lot of my Lulu stuff over to Facebook Marketplace, which has been like on fire. And in Canada, I've said this before, there's no platform fees on Facebook yet. I am gonna try and make every sale I can on Facebook Marketplace and avoid, you know, that 10 to 20% fees. Next up is this cute Kangol hooded sweater. I'm just gonna kind of hold it up. I really liked the color of it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like a grayish blue. Very like pastel-y, light toned, trending. Uh, this reminds me of like an Aritzia color. I'm gonna sell it just as a plain hoodie. I think it'll do really good. It's an excellent condition. It is a men's large, definitely selling a lot of men's stuff on the lady side because everyone wants those neutral tone hooded sweaters right now, especially since they're still selling them at Aritzia. Thank gosh for Aritzia bringing back sweatsuits. They really, they have really uh, done me a service. Next up is this kind of like corduroy chenille type button down top. This is by uh tradition country collection so i think again this was a sears brand i liked it because it had that earthy tone kind of a sage green and this would be something similar to what i'm seeing again in aritzia h m uh, zara and those items tend to do pretty good i think i just sold a corduroy button down for like 40 dollars, and it it wasn't a brand name it's just selling it strictly on style <laughs> this next one i am always on the hunt for these kind of sweaters and they're kind of like those knit Fair Isle sweaters or Icelandic. It is a very large sweater, um, but super cute. And you guys, the price, it was like $9.99 and I had 20% off. So I paid eight bucks for it. I don't know. I gotta, it's just so nice. I like it. I like it a lot. What else do we got in here? Okay. This next piece, this is a vintage Edinburgh made in Scotland. 
a knit kind of cardigan sweater. I would say, does it say on it? It's a size large and uh, just looking for the tag. Oh, it's not even wool, darn. I was so excited about that. 52% mohair, 31% polyester. What the heck is mohair? I'm gonna have to Google that. <laughs> Do me a favor, drop it in the comments if you know what mohair is, cause I don't. Is that like a fake uh, fiber or is it, is that like a wool? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. I'm, I'm sure I'll be wiser after this video. All right, but one more time. I really like the print of it. Very Scottish, perfect for fall. I might even keep this one for a little bit for myself and then maybe post it closer to Christmas. We'll see. Okay, that's a good piece. Next sweater that I found is this Telbits. It says it's a 2X. It is not. It has been shrunk. The good news is the sleeves are still the right length. The length of it is still a good length. I just don't think it's a 2x width. I'm probably going to list this as an extra large, but I grabbed it just because I liked the print. It's kind of like, I don't, what is, like, how would you describe this pattern? I'm going to put it a little bit closer. To me, it reminds me of someone who, like, enjoys hiking, wears wool socks with blundstones over their jeans, wears a lot of, like, earthy colors. Like, I don't know what that style is called, but I know what that buyer is looking for, if that makes sense. Does that make sense to you guys? That's part of knowing what the people shopping in your closet are looking for. Do you know your followers on Poshmark? Do you know your followers on Instagram? Do you know what they are looking for? This is something that I would definitely sell in my closet and that I think will do fairly well. And what is the fiber content? I always want to look that up. This one is pretty soft. Like I feel, I feel like it's kind of a cotton blend. Yeah, 67% cotton. There is 7% wool in here, 2% lamb's wool, nylon, acrylic, very small percentages. I think it's going to be a good outdoor sweater or like layering kind of fall sweater. Okay, I have an item that I'm gonna save for last because I'm most excited about it. Next up is a pair of Lululemon. They're not a lines, they're like crop capris. And these are an older style because the tag has nothing around it. Black tights, crops, these always sell pretty quick. Cross list it over to Facebook Marketplace and avoid the selling fees. Next item in this bag, I pick this up on color and texture. So when I was looking and doing kind of my... <coughs> okay, so I am allergic to wool fibers. I can wear wool, but if if there's like wool fibers being cut around me, I, I sneeze and everything, I can't, yeah. Anyways, one of these has wool because I can I can tell just from handling it and putting it close to my face. Okay, moving on. This next item I grabbed on color and texture. So when I was doing my research for fall trends, something that I noticed was like textured, chunky knit sweaters are back. Neutrals, earthy tones, pastels. This one meets the earthy and neutral tone and I liked the texture of it. So it's very like soft kind of looking. It's like a medium weight knit. I usually put in my descriptions, what is this called neutral tone tradition sweater size large uh, cowl neck and then I'll put a uh, medium weight material and then that way people know whether it's like light medium heavy now obviously that is like up for discussion I guess what is medium light medium heavy but I've never had a complaint from a buyer by putting that description. I'm going to keep putting it in and I would consider this a medium weight type material. And this would be great layering as well. Like if you had a turtleneck underneath or maybe you put it under a vest or you layered it with a jean jacket, like this is just such a versatile sweater. I love it, so cute. Okay, and the last item, I was so excited about this and what what is the cost? And such a good price. I probably paid like nine bucks for it but it's a men's large and it's a penman's, can you guys see this? Brown, like tan corduroy jacket. Corduroy is such a, oh, and it's like quilt, quilt lined inside. So I sold a flannel lined or flannel quilt lined 
jean jacket for like 50 bucks recently. I'm hoping to get similar for this jacket. This is such a cool jacket. If you kind of like put a few rolls in the sleeves, you know what I mean? This is easily worn by ladies and oversized and just cool, very trendy. Put on a toque, roll it with your jeans and your blendstones. And this is a total vibe, loving it. This was like my favorite find from today. Okay, that's it. These are all the items that I'm picking up to sell right now on Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, Depop, and Facebook Marketplace. Is there anything in here that you're like, I've never thought of that? Or items in here that you're like, yes, yes, I would totally grab that. I wanna know, drop them in the comments, what do you guys think about what I'm picking up? Now, let's get to the tips and tricks for sourcing in fall. I'm gonna start with, in general, colors. I've kind of talked about this throughout the video. I'm looking for neutrals, earthy tones, pastels. Um, I feel like black never goes out of style, but I despise taking pictures of black items. They never look that great. Uh, something else that I've sold recently and sold like a couple items in the last two, two weeks, I think I've sold three leather jackets and selling anywhere from 30 to I think $75. Actually, no, I've had a leather jacket sell for $299 on Etsy. Yeah, leather jackets, if I can source them reasonable and depending on the style, I'm actually looking for leather jackets. Okay, yeah, those are the colors. So fabrics, materials, I love sweaters. This is sweater weather. I feel like I sometimes make the most money off of sweaters because they're easy to source. Now, the issue I have is storing them. If you have any storage issues or storage suggestions for sweaters, I'd love to hear it because I struggle storing all my sweaters and they're such a pain in the butt. I have totes right now. I keep looking up because that's, as you can see, my inventory is around me. I organize my totes by colors. So if I'm looking for a pink sweater, I'm gonna look into the bin that has all the pink sweaters, uh, tan, blue, green, purple, whatever, right? But I don't know. It's not my favorite way of storing things. I need some ideas. If you have anything to help, drop it down below. I'm asking for a ton of help right now because there are so many people out there that are way smarter than me and have better systems and I am open to learning. Okay, next, uh, jeans. I definitely am looking for wide leg. I mean, I'm always looking for skinny, but they have to be like a good brand or cheap because I feel like skinny jeans are a dime a dozen if it's like an American Eagle. Actually, I don't even like, I actually don't even source any of those brands. What I would be looking for would probably be like Denim Forum. I'm not even, I don't know. I think I need to do some brand researching for denim jeans. Obviously Levi's, as long as they're kind of a current style and they're not priced too high. I find those ones get really out of control at my value village. But um, yeah, dark and light wash. I don't, I don't care whichever. And I'm looking for a wide leg and maybe some good flare ones. I don't know. I feel like it's been forever since I've sold jeans. I got to go check comps on that. I got to find out what's selling. Uh, jackets, definitely always looking for jackets. And I usually check comps on that. Anything that's neutral, uh, North Face, Patagonia. Um, if I can find any shackets like those long plaid ones, definitely grabbing those. I don't think they have to be brand specific. I feel like... That kind of wraps it up. Shoes, check your comps. I think you just need to go on your favorite website and find out what they're projecting and selling for fall. Look at their colors, look at the materials, look at the cuts, look at the styles, like just observe. Uh, you can look at different fashion bloggers. There's a ton of resources, so do some research. So when you go to the thrift store, you kind of have an idea. If you're just shopping for brands and looking for bolos, that's totally cool. But if you want to grab vintage or you want to grab other pieces and sell them on style, know what the styles are that you're looking for. Okay, that's it. I'm going to wrap it up. I hope this helps you and thank you for watching. I definitely am going to be back in the groove for videos and I'm hoping to do two videos a week. So you'll see my face a lot more. And yeah, if you're new here, make sure you tap subscribe and hit the little bell so you don't miss any of the notifications of when I release new videos. Also on your way out, if this has helped you in any way, give me a thumbs up, let me know, and I will see you next time. All right, guys, have a wonderful week. Enjoy your day. Bye. Bye.